Hi and welcome to this video. If you're looking for a device to power your router or camera or any small devices when there's a blackout, you can use this device. Uh, this is a UPS slash power backup and it's available on AliExpress. You can look at the link. I will put the link in the description. I bought it for $17 and I've used it for almost a year. So I have some experience of using this and I'll show you how to use it. So when you get it, it's going to come with the cable. Uh, this is a power cable and that is the input for the cable. Depending on where you are, you might need an adapter. And it's going to come with this. This is what you're going to plug into your device. We are going to see where you can plug these cables in a moment, but it's a short cable. So when you're doing your planning with where you're going to put the device, make sure you put this in mind because the cable is short, so it will have to be near the router. For me, I use it for a router. That is the demo I'm going to do. You turn it back here. Uh, you can see all these different ports, but let's just, let's look at the back here. And you can see depending on where you are in the world, it's actually usable because you can see it goes, the input goes all the way from 85 to 265 volts. So whether you're in the countries that use 110 or countries that use 240, the device is still usable. The device can still be used wherever you are. And then as for the output, this is a part that's important. The output, you can use it on a 5 volt device, 9 volt, 12 volt, and you can also use the USB port and then there are also the other PoE ports, but I doubt you'll use those. As for the battery, it comes with 10400mAh lithium-ion battery, and the total output is 18 watts. So keep that in mind. Whatever you connect, make sure it doesn't pass the 18 watts. And you can always calculate how many watts an item is using by volt times amperes. So coming here, these are the ports the different ports that we have here. And there you can see, you can select 15 volts or 12 volts. At the moment, at the moment I have it on 15 volts because my router requires 12 volts only. So there's no need to step it up to 24 volts. And then the next item you can see there is a USB and the USB is five volts. And then after that, you have the different holes. Let me just call them holes for 5 volts, 12 volts, and 9 volts. If you're using an item that requires 5 volts, you're going to plug this in. If your item is a router and it requires 12 volts, you'll just connect it there on the 12, on the 12 volts, and then you connect one of this to your router. If you want to know how many volts and amperes your router is using, you just look at the you look at the adapter that it came with. For example here, if I look at mine, let's see if I can get it to focus. You can see this one uses, if you look at the part that says output, you're going to see it says 12 volts, one ampere, and the total is going to be 12 watts. So the 12 watts it's coming from 12 volts times the one ampere. If your adapter says that your router requires 9 volts and maybe 0 0.5 amperes, then your output is just going to be 4.5 watts. So how long does it last? So in my case, my router uses the 12 watts, which is 12 volts in the 1 ampere. And if it is fully charged, when power goes out, it can last for 8 hours. That means that if your gadget requires less than the 12 watts I'm using, you're probably going to get more time of usage. So let's see how to connect it to the router. You've already determined that your power adapter uh, is telling you that your router uses 12 volts and one ampere. So that means 12 watts. You're going to take this cable. This is a cable it came with and you're going to insert it in the 12 volts you're going to insert it in the 12 volts input, output, I mean. So you can see it's inserted in the 12 volt output. On the other end, you will connect it to your router. 
I'm just using this router for the demo. Connect that to your power. So, <laughs> oh, actually I haven't turned it on. So to turn it on, I haven't turned on the, the power. I haven't turned on this. So to turn it on, you'll just press on the power button there for a few seconds. There you go. Now it's on. And if you look at this as well, this one is also on. So it's just that easy to connect. The battery is going to keep draining. Right now you can see it's on the 100%. Once you use it, it's going to go down to 75, 50, 25 until it goes out. So when you see the red lighting under starters, that means that it's currently using the battery. It's not getting charged. Let me connect it and then you're going to see the red, the starters will turn to green and you can use it while it's charging. There you go. All right, so I hope this has helped you figure out a way to use your router even when power goes out because it happens. As I've said, I've been using the device for almost a year. It's always connected to power. I haven't experienced any issue. It's not swollen or anything. Okay, if you have any questions about it, just let me know.